So in this problem, we're told a kangaroo jumps to a vertical height of 1.65 meters. And then we're asked to find how long it was in the air before returning to Earth. So let's write down what we're given first. So given. So we're told it has it jumps to a vertical height of 1.65 meters. So it's going to change like this, 1.65 meters. And so we're going to set that to be delta y. right? So its change in position is 1.65 meters. Uh, also that it's jumping in the air, right? So it's going to have the force of gravity acting on it. So that means we're going to know acceleration is the force of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, and then what also what we also know is that v sub zero, which is its initial velocity, uh, since it's on the ground right here, before it even jumps, its um, initial velocity is going to be zero. So you want to set v sub zero equal to zero meters per second. And then it's asking how long uh, was it in the air before returning to Earth. So we're trying to find a time, right? How long? So we're trying to find time. So these are going to be our givens. Uh, let's actually use one of the equations to solve. So if you're trying to decide which equation to use, uh, look at the first one. It doesn't contain uh, delta y, right? These are delta x. Just imagine they're delta y, though. Uh, they're basically the same, or they work the same. So it's not going to be number one because it doesn't contain delta y. And then if you look at these right here, uh, or number four does not contain a T, so it's not going to be four. And then uh, deciding between these two, you look at two, it does not contain uh, acceleration. So it's not going to be two, we're going to use three. So we know delta X, in this case delta Y, is going to be 1.65, which equals V sub zero, which is zero, times T, which is just going to be zero. T is a constant, so zero plus, and then I'm not going to keep the zero, so it's just going to be uh, one half times a, which is 9.8 times t squared. So 9.8 times one half is just 9.8 divided by 2, which is 4.9 times t squared. And then we can divide both sides by 4.9. And then if we want to get rid of the t squared, we'll square root both sides. So Essentially, t is going to be equal to the square root of 1.65 divided by 4.9. So if you plug that in your calculator, the square root of 1.65 divided by 4.9 is going to give you 0.58. So 0.58, so t is going to be equal to 0.58, and then this is going to be seconds, right? But keep in mind that this was just the distance going up. And so the distance going down is also the same. And like this is a thing that you should realize about like free fall problems, especially when you throw something air in the air and then it travels back down. The time it takes for it to go up is going to be the same exact time it takes to go down. So what we just found was the time it took to reach its top. So the time it reaches to the zero, right, returning to Earth, is going to be the same exact time. So we want to find the total time. We just got to double it, right? So this time times this time. So we just want to take 0.58 and double it. So times by two. If you go ahead and do that, you should get it equals 1.16, and then this is going to be seconds, right? So 1.16 seconds, you can round however you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it, but uh, this is going to be your answer. So how long, does it, how long was it in the air before returning to Earth? It's going to be 1.16 seconds.